Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Retro Gaming. And when we last left off in our playthrough of Chris here, we had run into some hunters, a lot of them. We had upgraded to the Magnum, and now it's time uh, once again to go to the room where we fought Yawn, which we also did in the last episode, and we've killed him finally. He is not going to bother us anymore. I say no more Yawn. And he can't poison you the second time you fight him just because of the fact that he doesn't have, uh, you've been inoculated against his poison with the serum. Unfortunately, that snake has different poison than, say, spiders or the snakes outside because you can still be poisoned by them. Alright, so you see the pile of goo that Yawn left behind is no longer. And now it's time to venture into the depths of this hole that Yawn has conveniently created, which happens to be a place where uh, there is a tombstone. So we can push this tombstone aside by pressing a button, and we can venture into the depths therein. Now, in the remake, this tombstone is actually belongs to somebody, but in this game, it doesn't belong to... Well, it belongs to an unknown agent, or an unknown person, I should say. All right. Oh, 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 All right. Take his head off. There's another zombie around the corner here. Take his head off, too. And there's some shotgun shells. Much needed shotgun shells. But, to think of it, to put it all in perspective for you guys, we're... We do have a couple hunters that we're going to have to take care of in a little bit. Uh, probably not in this episode, but... In the underground tunnels, we'll have a bunch that we're going to have to kill. But uh, overall, we're actually in pretty good shape. So there's like a lot of dead guys here. Well, now they are officially dead. And there are two green herbs, I do believe, here. There may only be one. Nope, there's two. Great. We'll leave those uh, uncombined for the time being, although I do believe that we will need to combine them. So let's unlock this door here. This is going to take us into the kitchen. Okay, there's a small key here, which I guess we'll pick up, just because of the fact that uh, we could use it at some point very soon. Now, there's a tricky zombie here. He wants to trick you. Oh, Jesus! He tricked me. I didn't expect it. I thought I was at a pretty safe distance there. But he reached out and grabbed me. Alright, so let's take the elevator. Oh, little zombies don't scare me so much. It's the hunters when they leap at you and you miss them that really... Alright, so we got a zombie here. He did save me a shotgun shell, so I guess I should be happy. Oh, 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 look at that. Yeah, Chris says, yeah, I got the fancy shooting. Alright, so the main, 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 main purpose in coming here is this room right here. A battery. Alright. Take battery. Now, we will need some inventory room, but luckily these are two boxes of shotgun shells. 14 shells a pop, or in total, 14 shells. And they couldn't come at a moment too soon. Alright, so there's a couple more rooms that you can explore uh, for your entertainment. The first one is this one on the left here, which is going to take you into a hallway. I know, that's real exciting. You got two dead guys here. Well, actually... Oh, I missed. Locked and loaded. Alright, let's... I always recommend making sure you're going into areas with a full... Um... Oh, oh, he's not dead. I thought I saw him leaking before. Well, let's just crush your head. Let's heal back up. 
Now, unfortunately, I can't take these two herbs because we need a couple. Now, that's the the other side of that door right there. That's that door that's locked with the passcode, which if I was Jill, that would have been much easier to get the magnum and everything. But I'm not Jill. Unless Chris has had a sex change in the middle of this video. So, we must continue. So, let's go through these double blue doors. There is an object in here that we will need if you want the best possible ending. Although, I don't know. Did I need to re rescue Rebecca? <laughs> did anybody hear her scream? <laughs> let's use the small key here. And we get some magnum rounds. Now, these are important. These are very important. Now, there's a... Uh, a zombie over this way, so you want to aim and shoot over this way. Just wait for him. No, no, come on. There you go. That wasn't so bad, was it, zombie? And if you push this aside... Oh, I think we wanted to go the other way, actually. Oh, well. Here's a scrap buck. So we may have to exit back out because we wanted to push that the other way. But for now, let's go this way instead. Alright, I don't think there's any zombies in here, but I could be wrong. Alright, first thing we want to do is push this button right here. Which puts a light on the floor. Oh shit, I think I fucked this up too. Oh, you know what? It's, I don't think so actually, I think we're okay. Yes, and you can see obviously that that um, bookcase slides aside and there's a door. Alright, let's go see what lovelies are behind here. Not much, it looks like it's a study, okay? Alright, the M.O. Disc. There's always an M.O. Disc in every Resident Evil game as well. Now, the M.O. Disc is required in order to get the best possible ending. You must uh, have the M.O. Disc on you. Alright, so let's uh, push that bookcase the other way this time. Yeah, there we go. And there's a hidden door behind here. There isn't a ton in here. There's some ink ribbons, which um, we won't take. There is some handgun ammo here, which I guess we'll take because I have no other use for inventory. And if you look out here, it says I can look over the countryside from here. It's a helicopter port. If I could contact the other members from there. And oops, I clicked them again. Get lost, ink ribbons. We don't want you. Alright, and we're pretty much running out of time for this episode. So I think we're going to hop on the elevator here and get out. Because now we are done. Officially with this area, we got the battery. And that's really all we wanted and needed to come here for. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. I do believe I am going to stop this video here. Thank you for tuning in to Retro Gaming. This is Resident Evil Chris's Playthrough.